I really like the fact that Mattel has recently been treating Sally like she's actually a main character, giving her the same types of special variants as other main characters like Lightning and Mater and Ramon, like her metallic release a few years ago, or, far more recently, her Racing Red variant. The one problem with this is, um, they just keep putting her in the wrong mold. Back in 2018, Sally's mold was finally fixed to be more accurate, but in literally every single subsequent release of her since, she has been re-released back in her old wrong mold. And starting this year, her variants have started to be in her old wrong mold. While it's really a shame, I don't think it really takes away from how good this car looks. I think this car still looks great. I think the Racing Red Sally still looks great. It's just that the fact that it's in the wrong mold is really, really annoying. They do the wrong mold so often. Honestly, at this point, I'm considering starting a new series called Wrong Mold Monday. No, I'm not joking. If you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments because I will definitely consider doing a few episodes of that. Every Monday for a few weeks or maybe like a month or two, I review a car who's in the wrong mold. I don't know who I could really do aside from maybe Terry Cargas or again Sally or somebody else, but definitely let me know in the comments any suggestions for that because I think that would be really funny. Anyway guys, welcome back to yet another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 2021 Pixar Fest Sally. Again, really nice to have a Pixar Fest Sally. Really nice to just have more Pixar Fest cars in general. And like I said before, so great to finally see Sally be treated like an actual main character because, you know, she kind of is one. Got Lightning or Radiator Springs McQueen, Ramon and Sally here. Of course, next review will be of Ramon. Pixar logo, Pixar Fest 2021, matching the style of the other Pixar merchandise that's usually out or has been out for the last few years. Weirdly enough, the blue desert car back is still down there. And on the back here, something i just like to point out, aside from, I think that's a new Mattel logo. I don't remember that slogan uh, being on the other ones. It seems that they are empowering the next generation through play. So, uh, at least Mattel is empowering Jackson Storm, I guess. Anyway, that was a terrible pun. Um, these guys are actually made in Thailand compared to most of the other side series nowadays, which are made in Vietnam. Which is why this Sally looks so similar to her Racing Red variant. They've got basically the exact same expression. Honestly, I really prefer this expression to the expression on the original Sally. Even though she's using the wrong mold, at least they made her eyes bigger, because man, the original Sally diecast has these really weird, small, creepy eyes, and I really don't like her because of that. But here is the Pixar Fest out of the package, Pixar Fest Sally, that is, out of the package, and this car looks so much cooler in person than, than you would think. This, for the record, is the Metallic Sally from back in 2019, who was using the right mold, but her eyes still look weird. The Sally, definitely a much darker blue, which, you know, I think was just a creative choice. That's what they did for Brand New Mater and for Guido. On the subject of that, let's get Brand New Mater in here, who's actually a lighter blue. Now, I've said this before, but this guy right here is my favorite release from 2020. Really like the metallic blue on him, and I really, really like the metallic blue on Sally. I don't have Luigi and Guido yet, so I haven't seen them in person, but Sally's color scheme here is definitely my favorite of this new wave of Pixar Fest cars. Pixar logo on the hood there with the Luxo ball. We got a Porsche or Porsche logo underneath that. Got the same exact expression pretty much as her Racing Red variant, although a little different. This eyebrow is a bit more raised, it seems. Um, you know, still very in character for Sally. On the side, we have, of course, the Luxo lamp and ball, as well as the uh, wheels here having a nice blue for them, just like how the Racing Red variant had red wheels. On the back, we, of course, have the 301 PCE license plate, and yeah, this definitely takes a lot more from the Racing Red Sally than I thought. Um, it has the exact same license plate. That's probably an error. Of course, what the Racing Red cars do is they take the details of the normal variants and they change them to silver. They make the car red and they change the other colors on them to silver. Uh, in the case of Sally, that meant, of course, changing her license plate to silver, which they did here as well. That is really weird. So this has a lot more similarities with the Racing Red variant than you might think. Got the Carrara logo there. Really hard to see. Uh, moving on, there is the other side, and then there is her base. I like this car way, way more than I thought I would. You know, I, I knew I would have to address the whole, oh, this is the wrong model thing. 
but honestly in this case just like with the racing red variant I don't really mind all that much because just how cool the car looks makes it way better in my opinion anyway guys thank you all so much for watching let me know which of these two you like more in the comments I'm not really sure I'm kind of conflicted I would like to see this without the Pixar logos on it uh, to make my decision but yeah I'll see you guys next time bye now